Today, I want to talk to you about essential filmmaking gear. So I'm preparing for a shoot this week and it's for a project that I haven't shared with you guys about at all. And so I thought I would do that with, with this video today. I'm embarking on shooting a documentary. So far, the title is Unsung Heroes. It tells the, the story of Ola Kernan, and he's the jet ski driver and safety operator for Kai Lenny, who is you know, one of the, the biggest and best big wave surfers in the world. And it's just kind of documenting his life and asking that question of, of why he does what he does and is it worth it? and just getting to see all the ins and outs of, of what it actually means to be a safety operator. So I'm super excited to, to share this with you. Uh, we're gonna be coming out with a ton of BTS. So if you have any questions or wanna know any more about it, uh, just let me know and, and I can kinda create content around what you guys would love to see as well. So as I was, as I was packing and getting ready for the shoot this week, getting all my gear ready, I thought I'd, I'd put together a list of just kind of the, the five pieces of gear or areas of gear that I think you need to have to be a successful filmmaker. And number one is coffee. Just lots and lots of coffee. I'm kidding, but uh, I think the, the first is image and with image comes the lens. I think glass over camera. The technology changes and is always getting better for, for the cameras and I mean, it seems like you buy a camera and then a couple months later, there's something that's that's better. But with a good, good lens or a good piece of glass, it's always gonna be a good lens. So I would highly recommend investing in high quality glass. I'm primarily shooting this entire documentary on my 24 to 70 RF, where it's super versatile, it's great for run and gun, and has that image stabilization, uh, because a lot of this is gonna be handheld. This lens, for me, was kind of a, a no-brainer, and I've been shooting on it for, for years. But when it does come to lenses, I'm not saying that you need to get 50 different lenses and just have the best of the best and invest in getting you know, every kind of lens that you need. If you can just get one good lens, then that's awesome. I would take good glass with a semi-good camera uh, over crappy glass and a really good camera any day. I think the glass can really make the difference in in the quality of, of work that you put out. And then number two, along with getting a good image, comes good audio. So investing in a quality mic or microphones is, again, essential thing to making a good film. Right now for the documentary, I'm using a shotgun mic, a Rode NTG4 Plus for the interviews using a boom and also just on the side of my C70. And that's that's pretty much it. I don't even, I don't need lapel mics for for this documentary, but if I do, I've, I've got those as well. Rode and Sennheiser are good go-to brands and those are brands that I've used and trust and so would, would definitely recommend. You can easily hear or pick up on bad audio and that just really takes your film down a couple notches. So if you want to put together a good professional film or video, then you gotta have a great mic to get great audio for your film. Number three is lighting. I think when it comes to lighting, it can kind of get daunting and, and crazy, but if you can invest your money into one good light, I think that can take your production value up a thousand notches. So my light is the Aperture 120D and I've had this thing for years and it hasn't failed me yet. <laughs> so again, I just think investing in good quality gear really just pays dividends in the long run because you're not having to, to buy multiple pieces of gear because they fail. I literally tried to chintz on on getting a cheap light for for my my home studio here and it died in a month and i i wasn't able to return it because it was past the return date so now it's just it's literally just sitting on my floor <laughs> you don't need to get like a five piece lighting kit that's 
thousands and thousands of dollars. I think if you invest in one good light, that can make a whole world of difference. There's There's been many times where uh, with this documentary that I'm shooting, it's just the one key light because that's all I can kind of fit. Just having this one light is, is perfect. Your lighting is what's gonna create the mood, set the mood, and tone for, for each of your shots, each of your scenes. What you do with that lighting or what your lighting is able to do is gonna really dictate to what level you can take your, your film to. So lighting, super underrated, but so, so, so important. As always, I mean, if you can use the sun, it's free, that's perfect, but sometimes you just, you need to, to bring lights on, on location and, and use those. So if you can have that one good light, it's great. So before we jump over to number four, I thought we could thank our sponsor of this video, but not just this video, the sponsor of this documentary. They are helping fund this documentary and that is Bare Bottom Clothing. But most importantly, this is a brand that I wear, I trust, and I absolutely love. They're a men's clothing brand that does uh, active wear, adventure wear, is literally the most comfortable clothing that I've ever worn. And I know a lot of people say that, and you probably hear that a lot, but it's legitimately true. I cannot say enough good about them, <laughs> but it's, it's what I'm wearing here all the time. It fits my active lifestyle. Tanks, tees, shorts, swimsuits, you name it. I've got it, and it's just comfy as heck. So I've got a link to their stuff in the description below. So if you wanna support this channel, if you wanna support this documentary, please go check them out. And you're also not gonna be disappointed with any piece of clothing that, that you get. It's super awesome and comfy. So make sure to go check them out. With all that said, let's jump into number four, which is kind of this support package, we'll say. So that includes everything from tripods to handles. The handles I've brought up in previous videos that I've done. Uh, I've got the Condor Blue cage for for my C70, and on that handle has the little record button. Absolute game changer. Making sure that your gear is sturdy and supported and safe goes a really, really long way. If you have a crappy tripod and that breaks while your camera's on it, then that can be absolutely devastating to your gear, to your shoot, to whatever uh, film or video that you're creating. So I, I know I say this for everything of like, this is essential, but I really do think it's essential. And so investing in these pieces of gear are essential. So having a good sturdy tripod that is able to handle your camera above and beyond what it weighs, it can tilt and it can pan and uh, can, can just be that sturdy support that it needs to be highly worth investing in. I can't, <laughs> I can't say that enough, but also whether that's a top handle, side handle, or a cage, that can also kind of help take your, your video or your film to the next level, kind of in, in little intangible ways, whether that's saving a couple seconds or just being able to keep your gear sturdy and safe. So I've been using the small rig, heavy duty, fluid head tripod, and that's been awesome. Uh, it is definitely affordable. It's one that's able to withstand everything that I put on top of it, which is definitely worth the kind of medium investment that, that I put into it. When it comes to heavy duty tripods, this one is a steal of a deal. So again, make sure you're able to keep your gear safe and steady and sturdy and accessible. And number five, I think maybe this is a curveball, one that you normally don't think about when it comes to filmmaking or making videos, but for me, what's essential is is the computer. If you're shooting incredible footage and you're you're putting together this incredible story, if you're not able to edit in a way that makes it easy to edit, then that sucks. Your editing software can kind of play into that as well, and I don't want to get into the to the editing software of Final Cut versus Premiere versus DaVinci, um, although I do use Premiere. But that being said, if I don't have a computer that can handle Premiere or handle editing 4K or anything that I'm that I'm shooting, then I'm in trouble. And I've been there before where my computer is just 
just sluggish and slow and is really just fighting to hang on and be able to edit anything. It just makes it so difficult to to create a final piece. I think investing in a good computer that's able to handle what you're shooting is essential. Again, Mac versus PC, I don't think it necessarily matters. I switched over to a PC because I was able to build out kind of my dream computer and put that together for a fraction of what the Mac would have cost. But I would love to know your thoughts on that. Um, honestly, I'd love to know your thoughts on everything that I've mentioned. These are just kind of the, the five areas that I think are essential for you to get started and have a great career in filmmaking and in videography. But I would love to know your thoughts. What did I miss out that you think is essential? Did I hit everything? Did I, did I leave out something big? I'd love, to, I'd love to know your thoughts. I'd love to know what you're shooting on. Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It really does help and make a difference. And I'll see you on the next video. Beep, 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 beep.